Chapter 2 Season 7 has been a blast, and we are highly anticipating an amazing Season 8. We have yet to know what the future holds for the Fortnite Island, so we went ahead and made our own Season 8 Battle Pass. Hold on to your gliders, folks, because this is action-packed. Enough talk. Let's go. We'd want to see one of our favorite characters from Friday Night Funkin' in Chapter 2 Season 8, and that's Witty. You know this bomber bro would be a super popular skin, even if some players didn't even know about Friday Night Funkin'. Witty would come in his classic look. He'd have a bomb for a head and bright orange eyes. Then he'd have his dark blue hoodie, black gloves, brown pants, and orange sneakers. We also think it'd be cool if you could switch out his head to his red bomb ballistic style. If put into the game, Woody would come with an electric guitar since he is an ex-rock star. For a back bling, he'd come with a reactive guitar amp that could play notes when he got strikes on someone. For a glider, he could surf down to the island on top of a rocket just like Tiantina. And for an emote, he'd have one called Tears of Fire that would let flames run down his cheeks while he either cried or laughed, depending on random generation. If Woody were included as an NPC, you could find him at the basketball court in Believer Beach, ready to throw down in a rap battle. Do you guys love Woody as much as us and want to see him as a skin in Fortnite? Give us a shout! Okay, moving on to another skin. Coming in next, we've got the Roblox Noob. Now this guy is a noob because he begins with a yellow Lego looking skin and wears the default style of a blue shirt and green pants. If included in the game, he would have many style options for switching out his shirt, pants, or adding a hat or hairstyle, similar to how you can customize the Chimeras currently in-game. Now this fashionable Roblox guy may seem simple, but he'd be no noob on the Fortnite battlefield. He'd be just as good as any other warrior, and he could take you down while showing off his happy smiley face. For a pickaxe, this yellow fellow would come with the noob tube. It could strike anything in sight, though it couldn't fire bullets or rockets. After mining materials, he'd be an expert at building platforms and stairs. The Roblox noob character would come with a bag o noobs back bling as a callback to his limited, unique gear. For an emote, he would have one called Classic Noob, and he would punch his arm out then fall forward, making the Roblox death sound. Oof. If Roblox Noob were in the game as an NPC, then you could find him in Misty Meadows, and he would ask you to help him collect materials to build a house. So do you guys want to see a Roblox Fortnite crossover? Let us know in the comments below. Next up, okay, we're doing it. We're putting Rick's famous alter ego in our battle pass. Pickle Rick! Plus, he's been outfitted with his awesome rat robot appendages. If he can beat a barrage of rats in the form of a pickle, then we're confident he'd be set to defeat any varmints he came across in Fortnite. For a pickaxe, Pickle Rick would have special blades that slid out of wrist attachments, as seen in the episode. For a back bling, we would give him a Mr. Me Seeks plush. The blue dude would disappear appear as soon as you got a victory royale. Just don't let him replicate himself. Instead of his spaceship as a glider this time, we would give Rick a glider composed of junky parts he put together in the sewer. Since Rick already has the Rick dance emote, we'd give Pickle Rick a Get Swifty emote. We think it'd be a hit in Party Royale with everyone doing different dances. If Pickle Rick were an NPC in the game, you could find him in the Flush Factory because he swam out of a toilet when he finally escaped the sewers. So what do you guys have to say about adding Pickle Rick to Fortnite? Would it be awesome, or has the meme been overdone? Okay, let's check out another skin. This one's exciting, and we've been waiting for it to happen forever. It's Aang from Avatar. Since he's one of the few who can use all four of the element bending arts, we knew we had to include him. We'd give Aang his classic design, blue downward arrow on the head and distinct red, orange, and yellow air bending outfit. For his pickaxe, he would come with his reliable wooden staff, and you know he can twirl it pretty fast. And any guesses out there as to what Aang's glider would be? He'd come with his big buddy Appa. Every time he jumped off a launch pad, he'd blow his bison whistle and Appa would swoop him up into the air. Since Aang is a mighty airbender, we'd give him a special traversal emote where he could summon a ball of wind energy and ride it around. And lastly, for a back bling, Aang would come with his little buddy Momo, the winged lemur to keep him company. So would you guys be amazed to play as the last airbender in a round of Battle Royale? Let us know if you think he's a worthy hero. 
On to another. For season eight, we're bringing in a seasoned video game veteran, and that's Solid Snake from the Metal Gear series. Snake would have multiple styles to choose from because he's got a lot of different looks across the whole video game collection. These would include Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2, Big Boss from Metal Gear Solid 3, and Old Snake from Metal Gear Solid 4. For his glider, he would come with the Cypher, a small aerial contraption that could get him to the ground quickly, safely, and discreetly. You may wonder, what would Snake's pickaxe be? Well, he would just use his powerful fists, plain and simple. His fists are classified as deadly weapons of their own. He needs no external attachment. We'll leave the blades reserved for those pesky cyborg ninjas. For a back bling, we'd give Snake a miniature cardboard box, since he's known for hiding in boxes and being a stealth master. For a Metal Gear themed emote, we would have to include the iconic alert. An exclamation mark would appear above a character's head, they would look shocked, and you'd hear the jarring sound effect. As an NPC, you could try to find Snake, but it'd be pretty tricky since he's always hiding and changing up his spot. He's so unpredictable, you never know. He could possibly be hiding hiding in cardboard boxes around the map. Once you found him, he'd say, kept you waiting, huh? So would you guys love to play a Solid Snake in Fortnite? Have you played the Metal Gear Solid games before? Let us know in the comment down below. On to the next. Watch out, gang. We're bringing a classic cartoon dude to our Season 8 Battle Pass. And that's Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. He'd come with his bushy hairdo and scruffy facial hair, his oversized green shirt, and his baggy brown pants. Now, this goofy guy is always snacking in his free time. So for his pickaxe, we'd give him a super stacked sandwich with a giant toothpick through it, similar to the design of Ant-Man's pickaxe. And for his back bling, he'd come with a big bag of Scooby Snacks. Shaggy would fly into the Fortnite Island with style, and for that reason we'd give him the Mystery Machine van to hold on to. Now Shaggy may be a tall and lanky fellow, but no worries, because we still think he'd be a great skin to choose when going into battle. For his own emote, where he'd say, Zoinks, like Scooby-Doo, where are you? And freak out and run in place. If Shaggy were an NPC in the game, you could find him wandering around the cabins and Weeping Woods looking for Scooby. He'd offer you a Scooby snack if you helped him out. Can you see yourself playing a Shaggy in Fortnite? Or would you prefer Scooby Dooby Doo? Let us know what you think. Next up, now for season eight, we have a growing suspicion that a new version of Sky will appear. Exactly how she looks in this loading screen. So we're going to call her Mischief Sky and include her in our battle pass. As you can see, she has teamed up with Loki, or at least has been corrupted by the god of mischief. And it looks like she is wielding his scepter as a pickaxe. So we think she may get her own scepter when she becomes a skin. Her glider Ollie would remain the same, though he may glow with dark energy now. For her skin specific emote, we'd give her one called Mischief Madness, where she'd jump up, spin in a circle, and then land and cast a dark spell. For her back bling, she would have a glowing blue stone similar to Loki's scepter stone. What do you guys think? Will Mischief Sky be an even better version of herself than we've come to love and fight with? Will Ollie begrudgingly go along for the ride? We'll only know when season 8 rolls along. Let's check out another skin. Now we've got a special Marvel character we'd like to include in our Season 8 Battle Pass, and that's Kang the Conqueror. He appeared in the last episode of Loki, so we've got a good hunch that he'll appear in Fortnite somewhere down the line. Kang would have his classic outfit, purple helmet, gloves, boots, and cape with a green suit underneath. Now Kang's armor has special abilities, so for his pickaxe, he'd be able to wield a short beam of lightning out of his hand. And the Conqueror also has time traveling abilities. So for his back bling, he would sport his light of the century sphere. He'd also be able to use his special spaceship as a glider for flying down to the island. What rumors have you guys heard about Kang the Conqueror and the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Do you think we'll be seeing the cryptic character described as he who remains soon? Or will we see Kang later on in the game? We really hope we're able to add such an epic character to our growing list of awesome Awesome skins. Who else do you guys want to see at the premiere of Chapter 2 Season 8? Let us know with a comment down below, and we'll see you next time!